Okay guys, we're going to talk about now solving multi-step problems with fractions and mixed numbers. This is lesson 4-4 four, four out of the text. Our, our essential question is how can you solve word problems involving more than one fraction operation? So sometimes your, uh, more than one operation will be needed to solve a multi-step problem. You can use parentheses to group different operations. And you need to recall that according to the order of operations, you must perform operations in parentheses first. So basically what I'm going to show you in this particular lesson is we're going to have a word problem. And matter of fact, let's just go to it now. Here I have a word problem, and it's going to call for, for more than one step. And you need to f solve, you know, two steps. You need to solve one step first, and then you need to take that information and use it to solve your second step. So let's read the problem, and I'll take you through step by step. Uh, John is cooking enough lentils for lentil barley soup and lentil salad. The lentil barley soup recipe calls for three-quarter cup of dry lentils. The lentil salad recipe calls for one and a half cups of dried lentils. John has a one-eighth cup scoop. How many scoops of dried lentils will John need to have enough for the soup and the salad? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make sure that when we're reading the problem, we are reading it for understanding and not just reading it to look for numbers. But in this particular case, the numbers that you see are the ones that we need. So we have two recipes and they each call for a different amount of lentils. Here I have a three-quarter cup uh, of lentils and here I have one and a half cups of lentils. And what I need to know, what I need to find out is how many scoops, how many scoops of dried lentils is John going to need? Okay, well I know I have a one-eighth cup scoop so I'm not looking for a total amount of lentils, I'm looking for the number of, of scoops, the number of one-eighth cup scoops. So this is the way I want to set my problem up. Actually when I did this on my own before I started recording it or even looking at the uh, the answer in the book, I set it up different than than they did. Okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna set it up based on how they did and if you want to talk to me in class about how I set it up myself then we could talk about that then. But basically um, what I'm going to look for is I'm going to take the number of cups of, of lentils that I need for each of my recipes and I want to add those together. So I got one and a half cups here and I want to add that to the three quarter cups that I'm going to need. Okay, And that is the total amount of lentils that I'm going to need for both my recipes. Well, and then I want to divide that amount by my one eighth cup scoop and that'll tell me how many scoops that I'm going to need. Okay, so the first step, going back to the, the last slide, it said we got to follow order of operations. Well, I put my order of operations in here because I have my, um, my parentheses. I need to go ahead and add these two fractions first. So the first thing I want to do is come up with common denominators. So I'm going to keep my parentheses. I'm going to say 1. What's a common denominator? What is the least common multiple between 2 and 4? Well, if you guessed it's 4, you are correct. So now I need to figure out what did I multiply the 2 by to get 4 so I can multiply that same number by 1. Well, I multiplied 2 times 2 to get 4. So I need to multiply 1 times 2, and that's going to give me 2. And since 4 is my LCM, I'm not going to have to multiply this fraction by anything. And I'm going to divide my answer by 1 eighth. Okay, so now my denominators are the same. I'm adding so I don't have to get rid of this 1. I can leave it as a mixed number and that'll be fine. So I'm going to keep my 1. I'm going to add my numerators and I have 2 plus 3 is 5 fourths and I'm going to divide that by 8. <coughs> now, I have two options. I can go ahead and take this mixed number 
and turn it into an improper fraction so I can go ahead and prepare for my division problem or I can go ahead and because I got an improper fraction here I got this 5 above the 4 I could take the extra out and put it into here so you know what it looks like but that would just tell me how what I need as far as the total amount of lentils and I, I don't need that information so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna turn it into an improper fraction now and then I'm gonna go ahead and work my my division so I multiply four times one and I get four and I add five and that is going to be nine and it's going to be over four now I'm dividing that amount by one eighth okay once again nine fourths represents the total amount of lentils that I need and then one eighth represents the size of the scoop that I have because I need to find out how many scoops of lentils I need so I'm gonna go ahead and move this up here And I'm going to go ahead and write my fraction, my 9 fourths. Keep that the same. I don't want to divide. Remember, I want to multiply my, my division problems. But I can't just multiply by 1 eighth. I have to flip this particular fraction, or I have to find, get the reciprocal of this particular fraction, which is 8 over 1. All right. I'm going to go ahead and simplify so it's easier I can go ahead and simplify the 4 and the 8 I can divide by 4 4 divided by 4 gives me 1 8 divided by 4 gives me 2 and then I can go ahead and divide or multiply now 9 times 2 is 18 and 1 times 1 is 1 18 over 1 simplifies to 18 so what this is telling me is that in order to make both of these recipes and to have enough lentils for both I need a total of 18 scoops scoops of I need a total of 18 scoops of lentils Am I spelling this right? Yeah, T I L S and I circle my answer.